Hyperion is a boutique intellectual property firm based in Kendall Square, Massachusetts, and I Good focus, place to be located. It's a great place to be. I, I currently work out of the Cambridge Innovation Center, which has well over 300 startups, so I'm in the thick of the startup community. And the focus is mostly on software patents and helping entrepreneurs get good business-based advice on whether or not intellectual property works for them. Now you have a captive audience over there, but there's many software companies that don't have a captive audience and they think they know best. Absolutely, and software patents in particular are very controversial. I think getting good advice and not misinformation off the internet is very difficult to do and key to your business. So what are the things that most software uh, entrepreneurs should know that they don't know or that they're arrogant about? I think most software patents um, are perceived as either a complete waste of time or a golden ticket and it is a very business specific endeavor whether or not a software patent is actually going to make or break your business or whether it really is a waste of money and you should be focusing on user traction and, and getting more data and, and developing your algorithms. You know, um, Getting perspective on whether or not a patent is right for your particular company and not just you as, as somebody who's interested in software, or somebody who's working on an interesting project, but you as a business owner, you as someone who is operating a for-profit business who is looking to, to succeed. I think that's a, a really critical question that needs to be addressed and preferably by speaking with an unbiased third party such as a patent attorney who really knows the, the space that you're in. Okay. Okay, so again, uh, what are the steps that an entrepreneur should go through to make sure that they're protecting their software? Um, I think you first start out with finding someone who's an expert in software patents, and usually that's an attorney, but you really need to look at what is the space you're operating in, what is known in that space, and I think the biggest question that you should ask yourself is why is this not obvious? And you probably ought to do that from a business perspective. Before you go off selling your product or putting it online for people to download or pay 99 cents for, you really ought to figure out what, what is there for people to be buying here, why this product, why me? And all of that feeds into the software patent question. Why didn't anybody else think of this already? You know, software is absolutely patentable. That's sort of a red herring to think it might not be patentable. The real issue here is, should you bother patenting it? should you bother getting that? And that comes down to, is it obvious? Why wouldn't somebody else have thought of what you've come up with? And some people think